real estate goals. Uh, I'm a real estate investor, I'm a business owner, and uh, I buy properties in the hood for uh, cash flow. So you know, a lot of investors, they don't like to buy properties in the hood, but uh, if you want to uh, start investing and uh, you don't have a lot of money, I think buying properties in the hood is uh, definitely the way to go. Uh, there are some pros and cons to buying properties in the hood, and today I'm going to outline some of the pros and cons. In the hood, you will have a lot of inventory in the hood. Uh, when, it, when I purchase uh, properties in the hood, um, I base it off of the street. So, uh, you know, when you go in some of these neighborhoods, uh, you might have a street that is just completely run down, um, abandoned homes. Uh, you might have a street that's just, uh, you know, full of crime and go down uh, another street in the hood and it may be just all older people on that in particular street. So uh, buying houses in the hood is definitely not a bad thing. I think it's a, a great way to uh, start investing and uh, increasing your cash flow uh, month in and month out. But I'm going to go with some of the pros and cons of uh, buying houses in the hood. And cash flow. Cash flow is another pro uh, with buying properties in the hood. Uh, I've been able to create uh, a pretty substantial amount of cash flow with buying properties in the hood. Cheap. Uh, these properties are way cheaper than uh, investing in a property that's 50000 And so uh, this is why I buy in the hood. I buy properties that um, under ten thousand dollars, and I've been able to buy properties under ten thousand, and uh, still get the same amount of cash flow from that property that I would get from a property that you would spend forty to fifty thousand dollars on. Also, you would get uh, more of a long-term tenant. Uh, these tenants tend to stay in these properties for years, and uh, probably will never move out. Most of the time they won't move out unless um, they have some type of issue, but most of these tenants, they, stay, they tend to stay in them long term. Uh, if you buy a property in uh, another area that's fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 and the rent is nine hundred dollars to $1,000, that tenant is more likely to leave. So that's another reason why I like buying properties in the hood because you get more of a long term tenant. All right, so uh, here are some of the cons about buying properties in the hood. For one, you know, no appreciation. Uh, some of the properties in the hood uh, have no appreciation uh, or uh, doesn't have any equity. Uh, me per se, I don't buy properties uh, in the hood for equity. I buy them for cash flow. So uh, this right here to me is not important. If you're looking for appreciation, then don't buy properties in the hood. The eviction rates. Uh, the eviction rates in these areas are very high. So, but I, I look at it like this. Uh, eviction rates are high everywhere. So uh, it can happen in any neighborhood. Another kind of uh, buying properties in the hood would be dangerous. Uh, these uh, The crime rate is very high in these areas. The crime rate could be high in other areas as well. So buying properties in the hood to me is a very lucrative uh, cash flow. Um, this is something that you can uh, use to start uh, investing in and increasing your portfolio. So investing in the hood is definitely a great way to go uh, in my opinion. So if you, if you look at it, think about this. If um, we had a recession and the recession hit, people that are staying in these homes that are $1,000, $1,200, at some point, you know, uh, they will uh, need somewhere to stay too because if they lose their homes or uh, things of that nature, they're gonna go back down to cheaper property. So this is another way, a great way to uh, look at it when buying properties in the hood. This is uh, Beyond the Clippers and uh, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Um, I'm hoping that uh, this channel will uh, help you with your real estate investing and your real estate goals. 
Uh, I'm a real estate investor. I'm a business owner. And uh, I buy properties in the hood for cash flow.